Good morning. It's Friday. Woohoo! I'm working all weekend. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Fog in my throat. I've got a mix on. The buckets are filled up. All the gear is in place. We are raring to go. The weather is looking quite like it's ready to burst through and heat up. Unlucky for me. Um, we will continue going up and across. Happy days. Okay, let's go again. Right, I'll carry on. I'm at a real precarious point now because the scaffolding's not high enough to go up any further. So it just makes it really, really awkward. I'm not enjoying myself. Right, this is the first of many cuts going up. These blocks are not the easiest to break, so you've got to be very careful as you um, cut them. When you're um, cutting angles like this, the off cut always bring it up um, purely because a lot of the time it will fit somewhere else and in this occasion the off cut from that one fits perfectly there. Happy days! Right, it's not too easy to film up there now because of uh, the position I have to be in. So I've just been cracking on from the wall plate up to where the purling's going is now finished on both sides. So the opening's there is left. So what we'll probably end up doing is building a shuttering and making a concrete pad stone for the purling to sit on. So that would be in that gap there, in that gap there. That's ready for that lintel now. So what I've got to just quickly do is get some metal cut into the pots infill and then we can put the lintel on top and then that way we can finish up and over same again we've still got to allow about 400 down from the top to allow for the ridge beam and the rafters so i expect once that lintel's in we won't be putting any more blocks on it it'll be a shuttering absolutely sweltering all that rain yesterday and now all the heat it makes me extremely uncomfortable working i am literally just sweating all over Viva la France. Right then, I'm going to go up there, put the metal in, put the concrete in and uh, lay the lintel. You will see it, it's all high speed. <laughs> right, that's that all sorted. Um, I'll put a block either side, put some metal in, then I'll let it all go off because obviously that's quite a lot of weight up there now. So I'll just leave it and do the pour um, the next day. Right, it's Friday afternoon. I've um, pretty much packed a lot of the gear away. Um, place is a bit of a mess, so I'm going to have a good old clean up. So I like it nice and clean. Just makes life easier. So I'm going to get all of this all swept through and all the waste out. Right, that's that all nice and clean. Um, I'm going to go down to Builders Merchants now and inquire about the three laminated engineered uh, purlins that we're going to be putting 
in the vaulted ceiling area. Um, just need to check the uh, specs for the span in that to make sure it's adequate for the load bearing that it's going to be taken. Um, probably be back to carry on. Apparently the windows are in the last two big windows, same size as that one over there. Um, we've just had a call from Brick and Mark to say they're in, so we can check them, which means we can also buy the two little windows so we can get them sorted. Um, yeah, it's going to be all go again soon, I tell you. Now that wall's nearly finished. Happy days, that's taken a long, long time. I'm really pleased with that. You know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't perfect, but it ain't bad. I've seen a lot worse by so called professionals on the building sites in England, so I'm more than happy with it. Yeah. Right, see you in the next vid.